I'm the general manager here, and I welcome all of you today to a very special day. Uh, this was actually brought, brought forth because uh, Miss Beth was uh, passionate about doing something for the Wilmer Ice Clinic, and she really was uh, excited to be here, partnered with Maduro, which is one of her favorite brands as well. So, I've known Beth for, I think, 25 years. Uh, we were both like these young girls. No kids, now when the kids are this big. Um, and uh, well, it seems like a century, it was a century ago. <laughs> uh, it seems like forever, but um, we, Beth is always, every time she puts her heart into something, she does it 100%. You can tell by the love that's here supporting Beth today. So, just best, best possible, please. Just two words. I don't know if I need the mic. I, you know, my kids always tease me that uh, when I wake up in the morning, the whole house is awake. So uh, I'll just do it without the mic. Martha, I want to thank you and Neiman Marcus family for hosting this, this beautiful tea. And I want to thank you and uh, Jim Haig from Verdura for your generous contribution to the Wilmore Eye Clinic. The Wilmore Eye Clinic is located, I'm sure most of you know, in Baltimore. And it's an institution that's dedicated to diagnosis, treatment, and Continue care for people suffering with medical and surgical eye disease. They also do routine patient care, and it's certainly a special place oriented on research to prevent the suffering from sightlessness. There's a few people I'd like to introduce today. Um, here from the development office is uh, Kim Morton, and if you haven't had a chance to meet her, she is here with her associate, Ann Bradley. Yeah. Uh, I was looking today to see um, my very, very favorite, uh, I shouldn't say favorite, but my, a doctor that I owe uh, so much of my life to, Dr. Harry Quigley, and I wanted to make a special mention about him today. Uh, Dr. Quigley in 2008, due to his surgical intervention, uh, saved my sight, and when I called him uh, a few days later, and told him I had had a traumatic eye injury. He opened up the emergency room, briefed the doctors, and they saved my eye that day. I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't thank Dr. Quigley for what he did. Uh, today I have a great honor of uh, talking about three remarkable women. The first is Dr. Susan Bressler, who Dr. Bressler is also associated with Wilmer and is part of the retinal team. Summa cum laude graduate from Smith College. Uh, she went to uh, medical school at Johns Hopkins and at Harvard for her residency. And the awards and honors go on and on. She has made her life's work macular degeneration, and she's in the middle of clinical trials. Her patients have been given a piece of equipment that they've been trained to use that takes scans of the eye. The scans are then sent on the landline back to Wilmer, where she and her team constantly review these scans. As soon as there is an alteration in the condition of the eye, a phone call goes to the patient requesting an eye visit and treatment. Dr. Bressler knows you're having a problem before you do. And that means that people who may be affected with wet macular degeneration, they don't have to go blind anymore. They just need treatment. Dr. Wessler, you're my hero. Mm -hmm. Would you please join me in honoring Dr. Clarice Smith. 
Theresa and her late husband, Robert, literally changed the campus of Wilmer Eye Clinic with the addition of the Smith Building. The Smith Building now contains five floors of research facilities. Because of the unique configuration of the space, it means that there's more, uh, there's more dialogue between doctors, and that collaboration means more promise for the future. In addition to this new research space, the Smith Center also has a new surgical wing. On February 24th, another brilliant surgeon, Dr. Albert Jen, saved my sight again. So if you're keeping track, that's two times <laughs> exactly at Wilmer. And um, the following month, he performed a procedure in my other eye, and for the first time in over a year, I am pain free. Clarice Smith is a renowned artist in her own right, and she has donated not only her passion, but her art to the building. And so doctors and researchers on the way to their labs get to walk by her beautiful paintings. Clarice Smith, thank you, thank you.